Yeah, I think our numbers early on weren't indicative. Of, we had some strange things. The coach pulled the goaltender and made it five on five. They put one in the empty net. So there was, there was a lot of pucks that went in on us like that early. But penalty kill is no different than power play. At the end of the day, it's all based on confidence. So now we have some pairs that have been together, some D partners that have been together. Having Ekblad come back, he's, an, you know, he's such a long, fast guy. He can kill some plays. And then you feel good about it. Then you, you, you believe you can get a kill. I, I thought the, the four-minute kill at the end of the game in Toronto was just fantastic, especially on back-to-back -back nights. We had some good energy. And, um, you know, when I, Kevin Stenland's had a big chunk to that too, right? So he's a right-handed face-off man. So we've got Stenland or Barkoff taking face-offs. It's, it's one or two more clears a game that, that, that makes your numbers a lot better. Speaking of Kevin Stenland, in terms of his offensive game, is he tied up career high? Yeah. Why do you think he's been able to elevate his game with the Well, you know, I think he's always had that in his game. I think he's got a big, big shot, but he's added a little bit of physicality to his game, which makes the coach happy, which means he plays a little bit more, and that usually means he plays a little bit better. It also means you get on the ice at the end of the game because you're a right-handed draw man when the goalie's out. So there's, there's some things, and then you score a couple goals, empty net or not. You start feeling better about yourself as a player, and it comes back to almost all of this entire game is based on confidence and how you're feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 there's something just even without the names on the backs of the sweaters, two right-handed defensemen. So we ran six lefties for a while. And a lot of our challenges came off that side of the ice, even at the offensive line, holding pucks in. So two righties come back. Both of them cover an awful lot of ice. They skate very well. One's a power play guy. Well, they both are, I guess. But also Aaron does a, a lot on our penalty kill. They're two really, really good players. We were fortunate that we brought in some players this year. And Ekman Larson has been really good. And Kulikov and Belinskis and... and uh, and Muzz has been, we got, we've got some nice depth on our blue line that we probably haven't had in the past, and that's how we survived. How, how do you explain the success of your team this year, at this time, compared to last year? Well, we're, we're considerably further ahead systematically than where yeah. we were. I mean, we had a pretty major overhaul in our game last year, and it took us four or five months to get it right. It's no fault of the players. Coaches constantly work on that communication, and, and then it's then it's not the basic systems; it's the nuances of the systems. What your team does with your neutral zone defense. So it takes a long time to get that right. Um, so even in the games we've had a couple players out, or you're into back to back, or I think this is 15 and 29 for us tonight. We're in a bit of a heavy schedule right now. You can rely on some of the experiences that we had in the playoffs, some understanding of our systems to to, to play a fairly basic game and understand it. Coach, are you a physical team? No. I don't know. Like, at times, right? Like, we would like to say that we're on the puck. But if you went through our lineup individually, there aren't a lot of guys there necessarily who say are really heavy players, but they are hard on pucks. So there's whole, there's lots of different kinds of physicality. Like, what happens when a puck moves on a four check? Does that guy finish his check? Those are usually the people that we think are heavy players, right? The, but Sam Reinhardt goes in on a one-on-one -on -one battle, lifts a stick, gets, in a, you know, gets his hips in, whatever. It doesn't look like a physical confrontation, but he wins the one-on-one -on -one battle. So it depends on how you measure it. Yes, I would say we'd like to think we win, win some one-on-one -on -one puck battles, but not necessarily in a guy that we would put out, let's say, three or four lines where we would finish every hit hard after the puck moves. Like, like Renaud asked, uh, uh, do you think that you did start to build that on the second part of the last season and yes. the playoff. Yeah, I, I, after the first period, I think it was January 2nd, we played that we got beat badly. We played Montreal mm -hmm. at home, went in and got beat bad on back to back in Carolina. After the first period against the New York Rangers, we became a different team and started playing a different brand of hockey. Um, and I think we've kept most of it. But you know what? We're a brand new team. Like we, at one point, we had nine new guys in our lineup this year. So we have to reinvent this as well. As much as it's in our memory, the, five, you know, the playoffs and those good things, every year, even when you're bringing your core back, you have to relearn, reinvent, reinvest. Uh, Sergey plays tonight, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Thank everybody. You. Thank you.